Hello everyone, my name is Dave Cole. I am the course designer and I'll be instructor for the data center infrastructure management. This is part one of a two-part course. A couple things to get out of the way, a uh, little legal things here, registered trademarks and copyrights. IT infrastructure library and ITIL are registered trademarks of the cabinet office in the United Kingdom and other countries. Let's go through a little bit about what we're going to learn about in this course. Let's go through the course description. First of all, this is the first part of a two-part course. And we're going to look at some of the fundamentals of data center infrastructure management. So we're going to look at the whole data center, everything from space, power, cooling. We'll look at um, security in the data center. We'll look at reliability. Really want to cover, uh, at least at a high level, the entire data center. Uh, everything from design up through maintenance and management and operation in the data center. So we're going to cover the big things, power, security, cooling. Those are very, very important in the data center. Uh, certainly power is what, what keeps everything up and running for us. Cooling is what keeps everything from crashing and burning when, when the temperature gets too high. And then security. It's very important that we look at security in the data center and uh, how that can affect how our uh, operation works. And then throughout the uh, entire course, uh, I've got a lot of experience, a lot of real life stuff that we've done in, in different data centers in the United States, in Brazil, in the UK, uh, throughout Europe, a lot of different data centers that I've been in. I probably get into 40 or 50 data centers every single year. So we really want to bring in that real life experience into this, give you some real life examples of, of how this really applies. So look at the course objectives. First, we're going to start with describing power and cooling infrastructure in the data center. So we're going to look at all the pieces of, of power and cooling. Uh, so power from the uh, power coming in through the UPS, through the PDUs, uh, all the way down to the rack level. Um, we're going to look at dual corded devices and, and that impact in the data center. Uh, and the cooling infrastructure. We're going to look at the different types of cooling devices that are out there. We're going to look at the different cooling strategies, uh, particularly talking about air movement in the data center because that's very important to get the air to the right place. We're going to look at the cost drivers when building a data center. So uh, the big things, uh, how much does the equipment cost, but also how does energy efficiency play into that when we're looking at overall operational cost in the data center. We want to understand power. We want to understand the power problems that we get and we want to understand how the infrastructure in the data center solves those power problems. We want to look at the different UPS topologies. UPS is a key component of power in the data center. Managing power, taking care of the power problem. So we want to look at the various UPS topologies. We want to really look at how a UPS works so we can um, uh, choose the right UPS as we move forward. And we want to understand, once we've got this power, how is it distributed in the data center? So we'll look all the way through power distribution units, the PDUs. We'll look at transfer switches. We'll look at rack power distribution units and, and distributing power to, to the racks. Uh, we'll spend a lot of time on high density. How do we handle high density power inside of a rack? How much power do we need in the data center? We're going to walk through some calculations on determining how much power there is needed in the data center. When I'm designing a new data center, how do I figure out how much power am I going to need, how big a UPS I'm going to need, how big a PDU I'm going to need, and so on. We're going to walk through developing a plan for implementing data center physical security. Here we're not looking at the network security side of things that would be covered in other courses. But the physical security, how do I keep my data center secure? We're going to look at the refrigeration cycle as we move into cooling. How does the refrigeration cycle work? How is cooling implemented in, in the data center? We're going to go all the way back to the basics of the refrigeration cycle because I think it's very important to look at that uh, when we're choosing devices in the data center and how are we going to do cooling in the data center to understand how that whole refrigeration cycle works. We're going to understand the importance of air distribution and its impact on cooling in the data center. Uh, it's one thing to create cold air. It's another thing to get the cold air to where we need it in the data center. If we don't do both parts of that job, 
we're not going to be able to cool the equipment in the data center. And as equipment in the data center gets higher and higher density, it's more and more important that we get the cold air to the right place. And we're going to develop a plan for improving the cooling efficiency in the data center. Okay, again, I, cooling is about half of the cost of our data center. The better job we do at uh, cooling efficiency, the better job we're going to do at, at handling overall costs in the data center. There are no course prerequisites for this, uh, for this class. So we're trying to take things from the ground level up. We want somebody who's been in a data center for one month to be able to, to gain knowledge from this. We want people who have been in a data center for 20 years to be able to gain knowledge from this as well. Let's look through some of the module topics that we're going to cover in this course. An overview of data centers. So we're going to start at the beginning. Why, why do we uh, build data centers? How have data centers evolved over time? We're going to look at the fundamentals of power from volts and amps all the way up to the various power problems that we have, how the devices in the data center solve those problems. We're going to look at uh, in detail some of the some of the power devices. So we're going to look spend quite a bit of time on UPSs because they're the real uh, workhorse when it comes to power in the data center. And then we're going to look at the other power devices: transfer switches, uh, power distribution units, rack power distribution units, and so on. And we'll look at power distribution in the rack. Once we get down to the rack level, things get pretty interesting with power, and we need to be able to handle high density racks. Uh, 42U, um, uh, densely packed uh, racks. We want to look at handling blade servers in the rack and so on. And then finally we're going to walk through some power calculations uh, so we understand how the power is being used in the data center, how we might use it in a little bit better way. We're going to look at data center physical security um, all the way down to designing a plan. How do I design a plan to better implement physical security in my data center? We're going to look at cooling strategies. Again, cooling is very, very important in the data center. So we want to make sure that we get our cooling right. And cooling has changed quite a bit over the last five to ten years. A lot of new strategies for cooling. We're going to investigate those and hopefully help you come up with a plan that will improve your cooling in your data center. Look at the importance of humidity in the data center. So when we get to cooling, it's not just about temperature, it's also about humidity. We want to make sure that we've got the right humidity in the data center. Air distribution, very, very important part of cooling in the data center. Again, we can't just create cold air. We have to create cold air and get it to the right place. This distribution of air is where a lot of data centers run into, into problems. And we're going to look at some of the data center cooling best practices. How can I improve my cooling? What are some mistakes that a lot of people make that we want to avoid uh, when it comes to cooling? Throughout the uh, course, you'll see quizzes uh, and additional reference documents. You can download those from the download section in the course page. So uh, the quizzes aren't designed to tax your brain. They're really uh, to designed to, to make sure that the key points that, that we're going to be talking about get to you, right? So I can go back and look at that and say, ah, I'm picking up the, the key points that I need to in these, uh, in, in these various modules. Any time throughout the course uh, you have questions, you can use the question comment box. That's going to send uh, an email directly to me and I'll respond to all of the questions, get back to you. Uh, maybe you're unclear on something I covered. Maybe you want some elaboration. Maybe you'd like me to point you in a direction where you can get more information on, on a particular topic. Uh, that'd be the perfect place to do that. So I, so I encourage you to, to ask questions because we want you to get the most out of this course as you can. So let's get started.